second grade. Today we're going to be doing our clay project and we're going to be making pinch pots. So these are some pots that I've made in years past. Ours are going to be a tiny bit different from this because we're going to finish them in a different way, but we are going to be making a little pot. It should be able to fit inside your hand. It should not be totally huge. So I'm going to show you today how to do this. You're going to be working with a ball of clay and clay is different from Play-Doh. Clay dries out very quickly. So when you're working with clay, you want to be sure that you're not overworking it because it will become dry and crumbly. The moisture comes out of it, the water comes out of it. So when you're doing this today, your first steps are going to be to take your ball of clay and roll it into a nice smooth ball. So I'm gonna kind of press it onto my mat. You're gonna be working on this piece of paper today as your mat and it will serve a really good purpose because the clay doesn't stick to the mat very easily or this paper but it does stick to the table so that's why I like to work on this and it also helps keep the table clean so I'm going to roll it into a ball the smoother it is to begin with the better you're going to do later on so I have it into a ball so there are a couple steps for this to make a pinch pot. Now the word pinch pot is in the title of the piece because we will be doing some pinching today. But the first step is to put your thumb in and you want to go down fairly far with your thumb. That's not going to be enough. You're going to make in the top of your pinch pot, top of your ball, a belly button. So we're going to stick in our thumb. You should be able to have the ball of clay on your thumb. That will let you know that it's down far enough. So you have a belly button in your clay and now what we're going to do is we're going to use our hand like a quacker, like a duck quacks, and we are going to pinch with our quacker, not just one finger but all of our fingers gently. What we're going to do is we're going to put our thumb in and then mold this around so that we get a pot shape. You've got to be careful because if you pinch too hard it becomes super duper thin and then it will break. You will not be able to put texture on it and it will fall apart because it will be too dry. So we're going to use our quacker and I'm going to gently, I am not pressing super hard, gently press the sides out. Notice I'm using my quacker. I am not using just one finger. You can see my clay is a little bit dry. See how it's doing that? I've used this for a little bit. If your clay is dry like that, you can smooth it out a lot of the time. So I'm going to use both of my quackers now and gently form my pinch pot. Now, when you've got a pot shape like this, you don't want it to be super thin at the bottom. You want it to be still kind of thick so that it's sturdy enough. The rule of thumb is you want it to be as wide as your pinky finger. You don't want this to be thinner than your pinky, so lay your pinky on it. And when it's as wide as your pinky, you know that you don't want it any thinner than that. So I am going to do it a tiny bit more here to get down into it. I'm not pinching the top anymore, now I'm pinching the sides down inside to make the shape. And then this is my pot shape. You can see that this is a little bit dry. What you can do is take your finger and lightly rub. Kids always want to rub so, so hard and you don't have to. You can lightly rub to fix things. So I'm going to take it I'm going to roll it because that will make my sides nice and smooth when you roll it like this. See? And then I'm going to tap it so that it flattens out the top. I'm going to tap the bottom to flatten out the bottom. And then you have a nice little pinch pot shape. I'm going to smooth again any places that I don't like the look of maybe it's a little bit dry. Now this is going to be okay so if yours is like that don't worry. The one thing I will warn you against is working 
with a lot, a lot of pressure really pressing into your clay, it will deform it, you will not be happy, it will dry out. So be careful when you're using your hands, make sure that your movements are gentle. Then you're gonna take the clay tools and you're gonna do texture into your pinch pot. So for today, I think I'm going to use, oh, let's see here. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna use this straw piece and I'm gonna do some circles around the rim. Now I'm not cutting into the top, I'm just pressing to make the indent. So I've got my circles here and I'm gonna use this spatula. Please leave this spatula straight. Don't press so hard that it bends and then bends permanently because we want it to stay nice. I'm going to take this and I'm gonna draw some lines going down. Once again, I'm not drawing super duper hard. Oops, sorry, that was off camera. I'm not drawing super duper hard. I'm just making the indent. You don't wanna cut through the walls of your pinch pot. You just wanna create texture. Your texture doesn't have to be super involved. There we go. Um, the noodles are awesome to use. I'm gonna put a couple little dots in each one. And once again, I'm pressing really lightly so I don't ruin the sides of my pinch pot. So you're gonna create the texture that you want in the sides, in the top, Leave the bottom alone because this is where we're gonna put your name today. When your pinch pot is made, you're going to bring it to us and we will carve your name into the bottom so we know whose is whose. These will need to dry for at least a week so that they can be put into the kiln and fired so that they become super duper hard because before they're fired, they are not hard at all, they're very brittle. As soon as you're done, bring it to us. The mat in my room gets thrown away. This is trash. All of your tools get put back in here so that I have them for my next grade level. Get a baby wipe for your hands. Wipe down the table if you need to. Wipe down your hands. Try and keep your work on your mat because that will really help with cleanup today. Remember, when you're doing it, you want to be very gentle. You don't want to pinch too hard, make your walls too thin, because it will fall apart. Okay, here we go. 